Hello everyone and welcome to another video review by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon a USA television series with the name of Graceland. I'm going to talk about Season 2, Episode 1, titled The Line. And pretty much what we have in this episode is we have our character of Mike Weston. He is no longer, he ends up, you know, spoilers coming up, he ends up being in the Graceland house later on. But for the time being, he's up, you know, he's working with... You know, the White House now, he's doing a lot of political stuff and that whole thing, so that's where he's at. Or they end up, a cartel ends up putting a hit on his head, which forces him to move back into the Graceland house, and towards the end of the episode, they end up actually having, they have to, he ends up being the leader, and they actually have to be a team in order to find out who this cartel was. That way they can get the hit off his head and that whole thing. So that's pretty much the main plot of this episode, is Mike Weston and Paul Briggs' character, you know, trying to take down this cartel and find out who they are. That's the plot of episode 1, season 2, titled The Line, for the USA television series with the name of Graceland. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Just so you guys know, I did see the first season, and I really enjoyed the first season. It did take me probably a good 6, 7, maybe even 8 episodes to get into the show. But once it got towards that finality, when you finally found out who, you know, jangles, you know, the one with the keys, when you find out who o when you found out who Odin was, that whole twist there, you know, with Odin's character, you know, once Jangles, you know, that Jangle serial killer was introduced, and once it, you know, I always enjoyed uh, Bellow's character. So once, you know, those those last four or five episodes came into play, Graceland really became a pretty stellar, you know, a pretty killer TV series that I really enjoyed. It took a while, but I still really enjoyed the show. It was, it was just really cool stuff. This second episode builds upon that. It reminds me of sort of, you know, it wasn't an amazing episode, but overall it was still a pretty good episode. There's some nice scenes there. I really thought that Mike Weston and, you know, and the other girl, I thought they found out, you know, who Odin was, you know, that it in fact was, you know, spoiler coming up. It was Paul Briggs, but they don't. They still don't know. That seems like, I guess, to be an end of the series type thing, but I, you know, I really don't, you know, it just... You can't really tell, right? But for right now, they still don't know who Odin is. But they were really close. They they had a suspicion. They were really close to the last se you know, the end of the last season. But now they're, it seems like they're back to square one. They have no idea. As I said earlier, this episode reminds me of the episodes bef that came before the finale, where they were decent. And I think that as time goes on, the episodes will keep getting better and better. And then once the finale comes, it'll just be a, some killer stuff. But there's some good stuff that happens in this episode too. Uh, particularly towards the end of the episode, where Mike Weston gets captured, you know, we find out it was not the Kaza cartel that captured him, it was actually somebody else. So I like those scenes towards the end, you know, and it looks like the promo for the next episode, there's going to be some nice character interactions, you know, I always like interacting characters. There's going to be some nice character interactions between uh, Paul Briggs' newfound girl, well not new, but, you know, his, his girlfriend, and then uh, Mike Weston's character and them, you know, he, he's now the leader and it seems that she doesn't like that because, you know, he came back to the, you know, Graceland house and it seems that things not, you know, worn as they once were, things have changed. So overall, a really good, you know, a, de a pretty decent episode. Not as good as previous episodes, but still a pretty decent episode that I really enjoyed. Favorite characters, you know, I, you know, I thought Jangles was a pretty cool character, you know, he died in the last season. But he's still a pretty, you know, pretty cool character. Uh, do I really have a favorite character? Not really. I think everyone's really on the same level. I like Paul Briggs, Mike West, and I think all the characters are at a pretty sh similar level. If I had to pick one, it would probably be Mike Weston or Paul Briggs because, uh, but my favorite character from the last season, definitely my favorite character was Bello, but he's not around anymore. So anyways, that's my review of the USA television series by the name of Graceland for season two, episode one one titled The Line. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos.